Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is introduction to the forces. What is a force? It is defined as the push or the pull exerted by a one object or a substance on the other object or the substance. This is defined as force. The unit of force is Newtons, which is given in SI units. There are three primary rules of forces. They are the rule one is all the forces acting on a segment must come from something that is contacting that particular segment. The exemption to this rule is the gravitational force. Okay, and anything that contacts a segment must create a force. This is known as the magnitude of the force and the gravitational force is considered to be touching all the objects okay or all the objects or the body segments or the body okay these are the three primary rules of forces what now let us see the equation of force force is equal to mass into acceleration whereas mass is measured in kilograms or pounds and the acceleration is the change in velocity per unit time is known as acceleration and if you want to measure acceleration it is force divided by mass and that is acceleration is directly proportional to the force and acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass that is as the mass of the body or the object increases the acceleration of that particular segment or the body decreases okay there are generally two forces according to the biomechanics perspective guys that is those are the external forces and the internal forces what are external forces these are the forces that are produced outside the body okay that is the push or the pull exerted on a body segment and the sources of this force are outside the body okay what are the examples first thing first and the foremost is the gravitational force the gravitational force is the first example the second is the wind wind the push of air on the body segment that is wind and third is water and the fourth is the other people and other objects wind it is the push of air on a body segment and the water is the push of water on a body segment and the other people the other people uh, i will give an example to these guys when a therapist applying a tractional force or the mobilization force that is also an external force the source is from the therapist so it is an external force the other objects for example in a gym if you are performing a leg press exercise the foot plate exerting force on the leg foot segment is an example of other objects external forces are responsible for facilitating or restricting the movement of a segment guys okay now let us see what are internal forces internal forces are the forces which arise from own body or within the body okay these uh, ex uh, the examples of the internal forces are a muscle ligament and bone the pull force exerted by the muscle is an example of an internal force for example if you take the biceps brachii muscle which is an elbow flexor and a shoulder flexor and a strong supinate arm which inserts at the radial tuberosity of the radius if you want to flex the elbow and it pulls the radial tuberosity okay that pulling action by the biceps brachii biceps brachii muscle is an example of an internal force and the ligament the pull force exerted by the ligament on the bone to which it is attaches okay where the muscle uh, the tendon attaches the muscle to the bone where the ligament attaches bone to bone okay this we all know guys okay now the bone 
it does not create a pulling force but it creates a pushing force the pushing of one bone on the other is a example of a bone of an external force and the external and the in, uh, sorry guys internal force and the internal force is responsible for the initiation of the movement as you have seen in the biceps brachii example to initiate the elbow flexion movement that is the internal force is very essential that internal force is from the muscle bulk okay and it also control out counteract the external forces how for example if you take a external force a dumbbell holding on your hand okay and performing a biceps curl okay biceps curl this is the external force and the muscle contraction is the internal force okay in order to control the weight okay in order to control and counteract the external force the internal force of the muscle is very essential okay and this is all about the in short all about the introduction to force